Okay, guys, this is what I've done. Going on to the main piece of um, scabbard I'm going to make. Um, I put a straight line in uh, on the edge there. And um, so this is going to be the centerpiece. And then I put a straight line, straight edge on this one too. Um, just to make sure that that's the straight side. Oh yeah, that's the straight side. Um, so what I'm going to do is, since the sheath is pretty much the same length the entire way down, and I've got the straight line for the pretty most part done, um, I, I'm just going to cut straps and do it that way, and then I'll round out the side Kitty wants to get in this one, Scamps. The other one you guys have seen as ghosts. Um, so doing that, I'm just going to use my strap cutter here, and I'll actually go through and do a demonstration of that. So here's going to be the sides for the mock-up. This will be for this side and then this side. So when you look inside there, it'll be this edge and this edge. That's what this is going to be. Um, so we'll get that cut for those edges. So you guys can see what that's like. It's just the tricky part is getting it actually started and cut that way but once you get it started it goes pretty easy so then you just draw through and then you just keep that drawing like that um, I'm gonna kind of go off to the edge here a little bit to make it so I'm on my bench more There we go. That's one side done. Then for the other side, it's going to be the same way. It takes a little bit to get it started, but once you get it started, it seems to go pretty easy. Now that it's a smaller piece, I might be able to just pull this all the way through up here in front of me like this. And you want to try to make sure that you're pulling it evenly through. So we should have two pieces the exact same width here. So it's exactly the way I wanted it. And that gives me my two sides. Um, obviously I'll deal with the ends later on and stuff because right now they're, you know, squared. But I'm going to deal with that. Now let's cut for that center part. That's going to be on the this part. It's going to be the thickness in between the two pieces. Um, I don't know if you can see it because I've dyed it a little bit. But um, it's going to be this piece. Um, I had a double shoulder. And um, whenever you're dealing with leather, you're going to be dealing with um, farmers put um, brands. And sometimes the cows have stretch marks and other things that come on them. So... Make sure I get the right side for the flat part here. Actually, both sides are pretty good flat. But since this piece isn't going to be seen, except for the edges, I'm using a really scarred up side. Um, something happened in the process there. Um, there was a brand that actually came to, um, this cow was something too. So, um, and then it's right on some stretch marks too. So I figured that's probably the best thing to use since the flesh, the, well, this is the grain side. Um, this is the side that would be what, like on your arm that you can see. And then the flesh side is the side that would be towards the meat, like on the inside of your skin, um, to your muscle. So that's what this side would be. This is the flesh, and then this is the grain side. But since I'm working edge, um, that's what it's gonna be. I'm really liking this side right now, so that's the side I'm gonna cut. Since I've got this locked in place, 
I can just go like this. It's always hard to start at first. But once you get it started, it goes pretty easy. Let's see if I got the arm room. I probably don't, but I can do this. So, that'll give me my pieces. So, here's the grain side on these two. They would be on the outside of the sheath. And then this is the center part. So that's what all three would, will be like. Um, as long as I got the length, I should be good. And I think I got the length. Oh yeah, I got plenty of length there. So that's that's how nice it was. You just cut a straight side and you can go down. Now um I had a friend that asked me to do a sheath for them. Um and they had a cutlass style is what I'm guessing. It's a pirate sword. And it had a little bit of curve. So I wouldn't be able to do that, but that's still gonna be fun. And I'm gonna have to use a pattern for that and I could just use the sword, but I just base this thickness off the sword and then the gaps that I wanted obviously this is just an arming sword so um, off the gaps I wanted on the sides here to come off a little bit um, so that's gonna work then um, once I do that I'm gonna make the pattern for the tip and I'm gonna make it symmetrical so that way it doesn't matter which side I have which side and what I mean by that is I'm gonna cut it so that if the two are this way it's okay or if they get reversed and they go this way it's still gonna be the same shape <coughs> excuse me I'm kind of getting over a bad cold from this last holiday season so that's what I'm gonna have and everything's gonna be dealt like dealt with for that but there's the strap for the sheath it's the start of the actual sheet which is really cool guys um have a good one like i say um like and subscribe it really helps me out and stuff like that on these videos and comments and questions or anything like that i'm gonna get into more showing how i'm actually gonna do this with this actual build too um that way i can document it for myself and for other people that are just learning like me this is my first scabbard um, they can see how I did it and if they want to do it that way or if they've got a better way that they can come up with to do it um, that'd be awesome if you want to comment on how you did it or um, what you thought of the way I did it thanks like subscribe and have an awesome day man